Peace, you're now rocking with Beef and Be Thyself. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we're gonna talk about removing parasites. And these herbs I found will help evict parasites out of the body. And I broke it down into two categories, one being the MVP section and another category being honorable mentions. All of these herbs are quite powerful. Any herbs that you have interest in taking, it will be mindful of you to do your own research. I've been on a fruit fast for four days. From a fruit fast, my plan is to transition to an all liquids fast. Usually when I fast, particularly doing a liquids fast, I notice that I still tend to have cravings, like sweets and salty type foods. This is due to me not properly detoxing my body prior to doing a liquids fast. Parasites within your body will cause you to have those cravings because those are the typical foods that they feed off from. To ease those cravings, it would help to release those type of parasites. So three herbs in each group, we're going to start with the MVP and the MVP, the most valuable player. We're going to say that these are the herbs that you really want to go to if you're trying to cleanse your body and rid it of parasites. Starting with black walnut holes. It supports intestinal cleansing and it's known for parasite elimination. Some people also place it on skin to treat wounds or to use as a dye for hair. Number two in our MVP list, we have wormwood. Wormwood helps with upset stomach and worm infections. It also helps with liver disease, memory loss, and allows your body to stimulate sweating. Three on our MVP list, we have Cascara Sagrada. And Cascara Sagrada is what Dr. Sebi used in his Chelation 1 and Chelation 2 product. It relieves constipation. This supports healthy bowel function. It stimulates the bowel to have a laxative effect. So make sure you take this when you're at home and it removes calcification and small tissue. Typically when you're fasting, you notice that four to five days later, you have a bowel movement. Even though you haven't eaten for days, maybe even a week, that's due to the calcification in the body. Cascara Sagrada, is definitely something that you want to implement in your detox process. So now we're moving on to our next group of herbs, which are honorable mentions. One of them being ginger root. Ginger root, it has so many benefits, and one of them happened to be that it relieves indigestion and helps the blood circulation as well as getting the body to stimulate the sweat glands. See, we don't just release parasites through bowel movements. We also release parasites through sweating. Any way that your body can find a way to release toxins, it's going to do it. It's very common for ginger to be paired with other herbs. Next we have stinging nettle. You can use the leaf or the root of stinging nettle and I chose to go with both. What I do is I'll add a little bit of leaves and then a little bit of the root of stinging nettle and make a tea out of it. So stinging nettle is excellent for water retention. It also helps enhance excretion of waste through the kidneys. And then there's elm bark which is also known as slippery elm. It helps remove inflammation of the bowels. It's also capable of of soothing the stomach and reducing irritation. So this herb will make a good pair with Cascara Sagrada. But again, do your research, do it. So that covers the MVP category of herbs, which will be your most powerful herbs in cleansing and removing parasites. And then we have honorable mentions, which are not as powerful, but will still get the job done as long as you're putting in the work as well. Take a look at the MVP list and see what herbs you can pair from the honorable mentions. That's pretty much what I'll be doing for my journey of fasting. I won't be using my MVP list as much, you know, to start out, yes, but I'll slowly ease my way off those and then just stick to the honorable mentions as well as herbs that are high in iron because that's very important to me. Iron is one of the most essential minerals that we need for our body. If you are inquiring about dosages and how much you should take of what, I do recommend that you check out this book. It's called The Alkaline Herbal Medicine. It's by Kill Anise. He also shares insight on how you can pair some of the herbs. Before we do close out, in regards to your body, I know when we hear parasites, we think of this evil being inside us and that's not really the case. Not all parasites within your body are bad for your body and that just goes to show you that life is all about balance and we do benefit from some of those parasites which coexist with inside us. So that's all we have for today. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like. If you didn't, feel free to hit the unlike. It is what it is. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, get notified every time we drop content here on the channel Monday at 8 a.m. Until next time, Tutal Nana.